Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about why didn't Jesus say I am God worship me? Or where did Jesus say I am God worship me? One of the most frequent questions asked by Muslim is why didn't Jesus say I am God worship me? Jesus in the New Testament never said once asking people or asking people to worship him. First of all, Christians and Muslims are very different in worship. We have a very different definitions of worship. In Christianity, singing and praising God is worship. While in Islam, you have to bow down reciting Quran and prayer to be counted as worship. Jesus never asked us to worship him. Instead, he asked us to worship God. But does it mean Jesus is not God? Jesus prayed to God before he was arrested. Does it mean he's not God since he prayed to the Father? Again, in Islam, prayers or praying is very different compared to in Christianity. In Islam, prayers are limited as part of worship. They do have a ask or request Allah for something in their prayers. But most of the time, prayers are part of worship. And in Christianity, prayers, or by praying, we are communicating with God. Prayers are communication between the creation and the Creator. That's why Christians do not pray the same prayers over and over again. Jesus only taught us one prayer, short one. Now, about worship in Islam, Let's, let us read from Surah 52, verse 56. I created Allah, speaking here, I created jinn and mankind only to worship me. It is plain and straightforward that Allah created jinn and mankind only to worship him. I asked several Muslims at work and online, if you saw a man who's healing the sick, giving sight to people who are born blind, raising the dead, and then he said to you, I am God, worship me. Would you worship him? They, they all said, no, of course not. I wouldn't either. Don't you think Jesus didn't know this? He knew this. So many people can do wonders and miracles, not only prophets. If Jesus asked people to worship him while he was uh, while he was in the flesh, then later on people would worship anyone who could do miracles. And that would be the purpose of his teachings. And that would go against everything he taught us about God. And God the Creator is too big to be bothered with us bowing down at certain times five times a day, saying the same prayer day in, day out. God, the Creator, wants us to love Him and know Him more than just bowing down. But did Jesus ever refuse worship? The answer is no. Since His birth, the wise man brought Him gifts and worshipped Him. I will read from Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. The wise man went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
Now, that's also plain and straightforward. The wise man worship him, not only giving him uh, presents. When Jesus rose from the dead, the first time Thomas was not there. Thomas didn't believe other disciples. Jesus, when Jesus showed up again, he he, he showed him his pierced hand. I will read from John 20, verse 27 to 28. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. If Jesus is not God, Jesus would say something to Thomas when he said, My Lord and my God. Like in the book of Revelation, when John was taken to heaven and by mistake he fell and bowed down and was going to worship an angel. The angel asked him not to worship him, stopped him not to worship him. I will read from Revelation 22, verse 8 to verse 9. I, John, am the one who heard and saw the things. And when I heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your fellow prophets. And with all who keep the words of the scrolls, worship God. Now, we can compare this story, this passage, with the passage where John met Jesus in heaven. And John worshipped Jesus. And Jesus did not rebuke him or stop him. Let us read together from Revelation 1, verse 17 to 18. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of the death of death and Hades. So, Jesus never told people to worship him. Yes. But Jesus never rebuked people who worship him. Because when on earth, Jesus was very careful. Jesus was very careful because people can make mistakes. Like I said, in Quran it's very clear. We are created to worship Allah. Don't get me wrong, we, we too have to worship God. But like I said, the definition alone is different. We do not worship the way Muslims worship. Jesus told us, to worship God in spirit and truth. So that's how we worship God, the Christians. That's all from me. Thank you for listening and watching. For those who worship God in spirit and truth, God bless you. And for those who bow down to worship Allah, God bless you and have nice life. Have nice life. Thank you.